chimpanzees like humans have blood types and individual fingerprints they can be distinguished by them the pattern is never repeated chimpanzees differ from humans in height the largest males do not exceed 1.5 meters in height females are even lower 1.3 meters but at the same time chimpanzees are very strong physically and have well developed muscles which not every homo sapiens can boast of the structure of the skull is distinguished by pronounced superciliary arches a flat nose and a strongly protruding jaw armed with sharp teeth the skull is made by nature with a margin the brain takes up only half of its volume the front and hind legs of the chimpanzee are of the same length a prominent feature of the structure of their paws is the thumb which is located at a distance from the rest and allows the monkey to deftly handle small objects the entire body of the chimpanzee is covered with hair nature made an exception for the face palms and soles of the monkey's feet adolescent chimpanzees have a small area of white in the coccyx among the dark thick coat as the monkey matures the hairs darken and turn brown this feature allows chimpanzees to distinguish between children and adults and treat them accordingly it has been noticed that monkeys with white eyelids on their coccyx get away with a lot from their hands that is from their paws adult primates do not punish them for pranks and do not demand much but as soon as the white hairs disappear childhood ends chimpanzees belong to the genus of great apes and are related to gorillas and orangutans there are two types of chimpanzees common chimpanzee and bonobo chimpanzee bonobos are often called pygmy chimpanzees which is not entirely true bonobo is not a dwarf as such just the structure of its body differs from the common chimpanzee in great grace also this species the only monkey has red lips like humans chimpanzee is a social animal lives in groups up to 20 to 30 individuals the group is headed by an ordinary male in chimpanzees and by a female in bonobos the leader is not always the strongest primate of the group but he must necessarily be the most cunning he needs to be able to build relationships with relatives in such a way that they obey him to do this he chooses a company of close ones such as security guards on whom he can rely in case of danger the rest of the male competitors is kept in fear of obedience when the leader breaks down due to old age or injury his place is immediately taken by a younger and more promising commander females in the flock are also subject to a strict hierarchy there are female leaders who are in a special position males pay special attention to them and this secures the status of the chosen one for them such chimpanzees get the most tasty morsels and the largest number of suitors during the mating period in general the behavioral responses of male and female chimpanzees differ in the level of intelligence and aggression if males are more belligerent especially when it comes to protecting their territory then females are more peaceful and even capable of such human emotions as empathy and compassion they can take an orphan cub under their care express sympathy for an injured relative share food but scientists warn that one should not attribute to a monkey even the most human of all known qualities that are not inherent in it there are cases when chimpanzees ate their own kind and even tried to attack a person